All right, then, to the saints of God, from the Lord Jesus Christ, I come to you in his holy name, the one that created the heavens and the earth. God be blessed forever, and he know, because he already blessed. Anyway, I come to you in this video. I want to clarify a few things for you. My name is C.W. That's all you know for now. You should know from my video, from my full name. But, um, I'm going to get down to it. And uh, I got to say this for uh, thank the Lord for waking me up in, in this morning in my right mind. I thank the Lord for shoes on my feet, clothes on my back, and a roof over my head, and uh, food to eat, water to drink. And I thank the Lord for all those things. So I have to recognize him in that way because that's how he, that's what he showed me. Anyway, let me get to this. Uh, go to, I'm going to get right down to it. Go to the book of Revelations. The 21st chapter. Rebe Revelation, I'm going to say it again. Revelation, the 21st chapter. I'm going to say it one more time. Revelations, the 21st chapter, and let's go to the uh, uh, second verse. And I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down from God and, and out of heaven, prepared. And remember that word prepared, because I'm going to go back to it and make another video on that prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, Behold, the, the, listen to this now, the tabernacle of God is with me. See? Now he using specific scriptures in saying, why did he call it the tabernacle of God? See? I know the secret. The Lord has revealed it unto me. But you have to pay close attention when I'm talking about it. Because if I talk about it in length, it would take probably 10 years to explain all of it. And I have the knowledge to do it. But I'm not going to go there right now. So let, let me pick back up where I left off. And I heard a great uh, revelation, the 21st chapter, third verse. And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men, and he will dwell with them, and they shall be his people, and God himself shall be with them and be their God. And God shall wipe. See, now listen to the contents of what he's talking about. The contents of what he's talking about. He's telling you what it is. And God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes. And there shall be no more death, neither sorrows, nor crying. Neither shall there be any more pain, for the former things are passed away. Okay, now, God is sitting there telling you in the contents of the scriptures, Revelation, the 21st chapter. Uh, I started off at uh, the second verse, go all the way to... Hmm, the fifth verse. Yeah, anyway, I'm just telling you that I want that glorified body. I want it. I want it, and I'll do anything that it takes to get it. Because once you get that glorified body, you in there, man. You in there, and you say you can do a lot of stuff with it. But you got to get it first and got to do that, which is right. I'm going to break it down a little further to you then. Now. Those of you who have not been baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, get it done. And that's not the only thing you got to do. Get that baptism in the name of Jesus Christ and uh, do what he said. And uh, I, I done been baptized in the name of Jesus Christ filled with the Holy Ghost, speaking in tongues at the Spirit of God give utterance, 
And once you get that, you in, you good. And remember this right here. There's only one God. It's not no trinity. There is no trinity. He is the only one. Pastor Gino Jennings preached that. There's nobody that stands beside him. Nothing. He is the one that's doing all of it. He is only one. Hmm. But anyway, um, I said what I said. I um, think I'm at uh, at five minutes there. I think I still got a little good bit to go. But um, anyway, I just wanted to preach that right there. And uh, I know I'm talking. Thank God for my daughter. The Lord has blessed her greatly. You seek her. Uh, she is a prophetess, and uh, God have laid his uh, blessings on her, and I thank God for her. And um, but Anyway, thank the Lord for everything, and uh, like I said, I have a lot of things to speak on, a lot of stuff going on in the world, isn't there? Hmm. We got Kamala Harris, Donald Trump. Mm-hmm. Not sure how that's going to turn out, but I ain't worrying about it. But anyway, the Lord is good. He have always have been good. I speak shortly. But the thing about me, I speak clearly. It's a little young fella that came in here today and talked to me. He said he was baptized by Geno Jennings. Oh, my God. I'm like, wow, that's good, man. And the way he talked, the Lord was with him. I know it. I can tell. I can discern. I can see. God got my eyes open to see these things. Hmm? So I know. Mm, but the Lord is good. Um, thank God for all this. I thank God for everything. The Lord is beautiful. Everything he do is wonderful. The Apostle Paul spoke and said, Let this mind be in you that was also in Christ Jesus. Come on now. So we both to have that same type of mind. And imagine when you get in that same type of mind, you think, talk, look like everything. You're being transformed into him. The Lord is good. Mm, he is wonderful. I praise him day and night. I meditate. I meditate day and night. Jesus Christ, Lord, you know, you, you know. I meditate on him. Amen. The one thing don't never go from my mind is the Lord Jesus Christ. It's always there. I meditate. It don't never go away. It can't. Because I know him. Everybody don't know him like that. <laughs> you know, well, I don't know. I ain't laughing at him. I'm responding to the way I, the way I feel. I know who he is. I know who he is. Hmm? I know him like that. So um, I hope that um, everybody got some information and knowledge from this video. I don't even know what I'm going to name it, but uh, I'm going to name it something. Get the glorified body. Probably name it that. But um, the Lord is real. He is graceful. And he knows. I know. <laughs> Beautiful. Beautiful smile. Come with that which is real. I'm not fake. I'm the real deal. And I have to obey God. And God is the only one. That's all I know. 
is him. So, saints of God, I ask you, and I thank you, and I hopefully, God bless all of you. I'm going to go on a couple of fasts as him, and the Lord know when. I ain't going to say it over the intercom, but the Lord know. I'm going to go on them. The bishop done prayed over it, and the all is ready. And my last words is just get baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Do what he said. Stop playing around. Nicodemus asked him, hey, can a man go back up in his uh, mother's womb and be reborn again? No, that's not, not what Christ said. Christ said, except a man be born of the water and of the spirit. The people get that that messed up. They say, well, the scriptures is the water, the water. Yeah, it is. That's not what he said. He said, set the man be born of the water and of the spirit. He cannot enter into the kingdom of God. He ain't going nowhere. All right, then. I can talk a lot about that. I'm not going into that. Now, this is the end of this video, and I'm going to publish it in Jesus Christ's holy name. Bless all the saints of God and bless all that hear his word that I spoke according to his word. In the name of Jesus Christ, thank you, Lord. Amen.